Hello guys. I know it's been a while, but um, life has been happening around this camp, so <clears throat> I will try to be more consistent in the future, but we all know how it goes. Sometimes you, you know, you have to deal with certain things and you may have to uh, take a breather from your day to day, so that's me included. So here we go. This is your monthly for March for Virgos and my pre-shuffle. I, um, I I just really got this strong notion that something's weighing very heavily on you guys here as far as like wanting to stop thinking about something, wanting to really see clearly, to have a clear head about things and, and know how to progress is what I'm getting here and it could definitely be due to this Mercury retrograde energy um, feeling stuck feeling muddled you know let's see what's going on around my Virgos the Emperor Aries energy wanting to be very very strong and know solidly what it is that you want to do what your next move is um, and really not succumbing to what other people want you to do but being very strong in your own uh, thoughts and feelings and actions you know and not letting anyone else guide you or mislead you you know just try to get you to do things their way you want to do things your way for a change okay the very Aries that strong energy what's crossing my Virgos okay I see that ace of swords there but there's like 10 12 cards there <clears throat> again I know you guys have a lot to say what's crossing my Virgos ten of wands there's that heaviness um, that feeling of just being tired, being sick and tired of being sick and tired here and wanted to see something different, wanting to see a change. Um, I feel like you guys have truly been struggling with um, something. This is all fire energy here and you guys are earth signs, okay? You're ready to see some action. You're ready to see some forward movement in your life. I'm feeling like there's something that has run its course and you're really ready to move past it. And you're doing all that you can to move past that shit. That Sagittarius energy there with the Ten of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> What's the underlying issue here with Virgos? Underlying issue with Virgos. Two of Swords. And this is really not being able to see things clearly or, or choosing not to see things. Um, because you can definitely... Take the blinders off. Refusing to make a decision here is the underlying issue. I feel like there's somebody that is um, crowding your mental space. Thoughts of them. Um, not really knowing if the decision that you're making is the right one to make. So it's like choosing not to make one at all. Just kind of staying where you are. That very Piscean energy. That hanged man energy of feeling stuck. Okay, and just kind of letting fate just you know take its course without you doing anything. That's Libra's energy right there, the Two of Swords. What was going on in the recent past with Virgos? Pain hey man, feeling stuck, feeling like you've sacrificed yourself for something time and time again. This is you, which is the energy that, <coughs> excuse me, that I just spoke of, that Piscean energy. And if I'm not mistaken, Mercury is retrograde right now in Pisces, okay, it's going through Pisces. And um, this is feeling like, you know, there's nothing else that you can do in a situation. It is what it is, is the thing. And I feel like you have stood your ground. That's where you are right now. And it's standing your ground. It's like burdening you. Okay. It's, it's like this situation became too much for you. But I see that you, your thoughts are still with this situation. Even though you want to let it go and start over. Your thoughts are still very much with this situation with this person. 
But I feel like you've given up on this person, though, is the thing. You're just having a hard time um, basically clearing your energy. Crowning thoughts for Virgo. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. For some reason, I'm getting that um, you guys are still invested in this situation. You don't want to be, though, is the thing. I feel like there's something that you're wanting to see from this person. You're wanting to to see if, if they're worth investing your time in. But at the same time, it's, it's like you're done with it because I, I don't think you have uh, the confidence in this situation any longer. You don't have the confidence that it will be different, that it will be changed. This person is going to do something different. You don't have that confidence. That confidence is not there. But I feel like this person showed you um, some sort of inkling of change. I feel like you guys would be all for it because there is love here. Even though I don't see cups here, there is love here. There is commitment here. Um, very much so here. <clears throat> What's coming in for Virgos? Oh, okay. A couple of cards there. I see the King of Wands and the Three of Cups. Hmm. I feel like you're going to be actively dating. Dating, going out, having fun, um, being in control of your actions, being in control of what it is that you do. I feel like a lot of you have felt controlled by someone else before. It's like somebody really had their thumb on you and kind of like, you know, guiding you where they wanted you to go. I see you being more in control of your life. Okay. This is Cancer Leo type energy. Hmm. How is Virgo feeling about this situation? The sun. You feel enlightened. I think you you feel relieved in a sense too because I think this person really had a hold on you even though you're still thinking about them and you are not over them your energy they're still very much in your energy but I feel like they don't have nearly as strong a hold on you as they once did is the thing you're getting your happy back that's what's happening here. You are slowly but surely getting your happy back. Leo energy there. What is the influence here for Virgos? Five of Wands. There's been too much arguing, too much fighting, too much conflict, too much butting heads for you. That's what this is. Even though you care for this person, there's been way too much divide in this relationship for you. And I think you also have this, um, this conflict about this situation because there's a part of you that really wants to fight for this, like I said. If this person were to show you some inkling of, of having changed, I feel like you would fight for it. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Virgo. And there's that Ace of Swords that we saw earlier. You want to be successful. You want to know what to do. Without anybody telling you what to do. You just want to know what to do and do it. You don't want to be in the Two of Swords. You don't want to be indecisive. You don't want to be one foot in and one foot out, you know, waiting on this person to change subconsciously. You want to keep it moving. Knowing what you know already that transpired, that has happened between the two of you. And pick it up and keep on moving. And getting your happy back. You're working towards this, for sure. It's just taking a little bit longer than what you would like. That's it. What is the overall outcome here? For Virgos. Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy there. 
this is actually you know having somebody that will give you what you give them spending time with someone and them wanting to spend time with you this is reciprocity I think you're standing your ground at this point whereas before with this person they were your weakness and and they basically got away with a lot of stuff that um, you will no longer accept you will no longer accept this not from them or anyone else okay so I'm gonna pull a romance angels card for you guys to close out your reading please show me a message okay I want that one right there forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments that just coincides with your reading right there release and let go okay guys and that is what I have for you take care talk to you soon bye now